Now, in your manual, in your little, manual, right, in your, in your little handouts, um, you don't have to. You don't have to pick them up. You know, I, I think I can. I can tell you about this. This is. Most of you have already had this. The seven movements of the spine. And I really feel so strongly that, you know, a strong back can be a happy life. You've got a miserable back, all kinds of shenanigans can happen. Um, and of course, that can mean that your belly is weak. So the seven movements of the spine in a chair are fantastic. So this is a lovely piece of music by John Ducat. And if you start with the feet really pressing, I, I'm going to actually give you two blocks and see how that feels. The reason why, it, <laughs> the reason why is it feels like the ground is, is like your heels are up there. And I'd like you to experience the ground. How's that feel? Is that good? Yeah. Anybody else need a block? I like love block. Yes. I'll get it for you. You don't have to get it. Did you want one? Yes. Thank you. Um, this is important, you know, when it comes to, oops, sorry, when it comes to teaching, I, I need to look around. Um, and because I was raised at Nosset Light Beach, I like to be a lighthouse. So I'm always looking, and I've seen yoga teachers. Have you had the, this experience? They, they close their eyes and do their own practice. It's like, excuse me, I'm paying for this. Why am I even bothering anybody? <laughs> I could just get a DVD or a CD or something. So if somebody looks at me, you're awesome. <laughs> Coming from you, oh calm choice, that's quite good. So if so so what's what's the problem with this? You need blocks. They're not great. Um, it, it's a great little exercise which we're going to do soon. You know, because this is a wonderful thing, but I want them up like this all the time. It's like wearing those awful model of black things. <laughs> you know, feet up. This practice is a grounding practice. And the first chakra, I always say, hell hath no fury, like the first chakra scorned. So if you're up like this, you know, it's, 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 it's ungrounded. So ground, ground, ground. We love Mother Earth. Even if you feel like you're from Mars, you're from Earth, this go. So seven movements. So let's just take a breath in and round. Look down at your belly button. And then inhale through the nose. And only look up as far as the ceiling meets the wall. I'm not interested in this. Why not? Cervical spine. It's a little hard on that neck, right? Cervical spine doesn't need that, especially when you're working with special poppers. Okay. And then exhale into the cat. Inhale, dog. Exhale, cat. Now, I actually, as a dancing yogi, like to be with the music sometimes. In yoga, we tend to just have it as a background, but we can actually let the music come in. So I might go to the beat like this. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. See how I'm going with the music? Inhale. And exhale. But that might be too fast, you see? So then you can just go off music. So it's all good. But if you like rhythm, you can use the music to your advantage. All right. I don't know about you, but this is feeling mighty nice for my back. These. So what is happening when we're arching the spine? We are shortening it. We're shortening it. And then when, that's, that's extension. And then when we round it, it's actually getting longer. So this is flexion, right? So we've got flexion and extension. All right? Now, that's the first two movements. What about the second, the third and fourth movement? You probably all know it, so what is it? Third and fourth movements. Now, we're thinking just the spine now. So what are ways the spine can move? That's right, side to side. Now, here's the deal. How many people, special poppers, do you know who got frozen shoulders? I know a bunch of them. Yes. So when I say, raise your arm up, everyone, and reach over to the side, and they're going, oh. they go, mine go, they go like this. They yeah. automatically go like That's this. That's right. Some people, if you, like they this. are going to imitate you. So I like to do what's called a gradient approach. In other words, do the gentle version first. The gentle version would just be letting the arms be down. This isn't called the seven movements of the arms. It's called the seven movements of the spine, right? So the arms are an afterthought. I'm going to bring them in for those people who can do it, but let's let 
the people who are struggling have the respect. It's like, oh, good, I can do this. As opposed to, this is what happens a lot. Everyone inhale, come and make a steeple out of your index finger. Reach over. Oh, yeah. And those of you who can't do it, you can bring your arms oh. up. Shaming happens all the time. Have you noticed? Yeah. Yeah. So we just make it simple first. Simple first. So what's another way they could possibly go over from side to side? I hate it when people to ask me that. It's like, I'm going to tell you. So, <laughs> like, I don't know. What is she wanting? <laughs> so you can bring the hands here and go like that. That's an option. And so from here, it could, it could graduate to here, you see? So if this doesn't work, they go back to where they were comfortable. You see what I mean? Yeah. Like that? And then if that's comfortable, hey, feel free. Be my guest. But a lot of people will do this. And so they're, see how the shoulders, just, you can all yeah. do that, try that. Yeah. It's pulling your shoulders yeah. forward, right? It's, it's exactly, exactly. So again, you can totally feel to come up here anytime you want. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, there's so many of you who teach this stuff already. So I just hope I can add a couple of new things to your toolkit. So uh, how about this? So if, if I find somebody going like this, and, and so they're, they're ruining the integrity of their spine, their upper back. So I go, try opening the arms and see how that feels. And so your lateral flexion might look like this. You see? Yeah, or that. That's nice. I'm taking pants again. So it could be like that. So, so we make it up, right? So what I'm going to do with you in a little while, no, I'm not even going to tell you that. Because <laughs> then you'll start. So that's the third and fourth movement of the spine. Okay. What's the first and second? It's the cat cow. Dog. Oh, you call it cat cow. Yeah. Cat cow. It, it propels. I don't know why we've always been doing dog and cat. So that's just in my brain cells. If it's cat cow, cat cow. So this is cat. That's right. This cat is cow. 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 Camel too, right? Some people call it a camel. Yeah. Whatever. Dog, cat, cat, cat. Whatever. Whatever you want. Okay. So this is. Lateral flexion. So what's another way the spine likes to move? It twists. All right, so now we're sitting in chairs. So what's a really easy way to do it? I have found over the years that I can put a hand at the back. Some people who are tall, they're really tall, they can put their hand on the top, but that's going to be very difficult for the shorter folks. So you might start with the hand down, and then you can put your hand on the leg if you like. Now, my interest is not in holding anything. I want to dance it. I want to move it. So we just inhale first, lengthen up first, and then gentle twist. And then inhale back, just that, that far, and then twist to the other side. OK, now, there could be another way. All right, there could be this. You could have the arms up here. Now I'm finding that for me, uh, it's allowing me to rest my elbow on the back of the chair. What about this? All right, so, so there's all kinds of things. So I'm giving you some opportunities to be creative. So many of you said that you were grateful for being creative, so that's really good. I want you to let me be a menu and then you find out what works best for your body and then look at your students and in that like I'm, I'm seeing some cool things going on nice things I've seen this I've seen some mudras OMG how about that <laughs> put the mudra can you do the little the word mudra I don't know. Uh, oh well, dear now I'm calling it the word mudra <laughs> oh, that's terrible oh dear okay. so now what's the seventh is the mountain pose. Um, now, does the mountain pose have to be this? No, I don't do that. This, I call this the gentle mountain. In yoga, Uttita Tadasana, you know, the, but you don't have to have your arm. Again, this is about the spine. So then we practice our mountain when we're standing in line at the grocery store. And you scare everybody because you're like this. <laughs> <laughs> Have my place. <laughs> Everybody else is like this, right? right. So, okay, seventh move now. Now, when we're standing, what's the ground? Our feet, right? But when we're sitting, what's the ground? Our ischial tuberosities. 